The government told all U.S. blood banks Friday to start screening for Zika, a major expansion intended to protect the nation's blood supply from the mosquito-borne virus. Previously, blood testing was mostly limited to parts of Florida and Puerto Rico, where Zika is spreading. Screening will initially extend to states along the Gulf Coast and a few others. There is still much uncertainty regarding the nature and extent of Zika virus transmission, Dr. Peter Marks said in a Food and Drug Administration release. At this time, the recommendation for testing the entire blood supply will help ensure that safe blood is available for all individuals who might need transfusion. Blood banks already test donations for HIV, hepatitis, West Nile, and other blood-borne viruses. The Zika virus stays in the blood for about one week, but is thought to remain in other bodily fluids longer. While Zika is primarily spread through mosquito bites, there have been reports in Brazil of Zika transmission through transfusion. No such cases have been reported in the United States. One Zika-positive blood donation, though, was recently intercepted in Florida, Marx said Friday. The donation was identified while the blood bag was still in quarantine, before it was released, Marx told reporters on a media call. The system worked correctly. Zika can also be spread through sex, and Marx said that played into the decision to expand testing. Current evidence suggests that infected men can spread the virus for several months through sex, and women can transmit it for several weeks. Adding to the challenge is that four out of five people infected never develop symptoms, such as fever, joint pain, and rash. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on Friday reported the first U.S. case of a man spreading Zika through sex even though he never had any symptoms. The Maryland man had traveled to the Dominican Republic, one of the many countries in the Caribbean and Latin America hit with a Zika outbreak. There have been nearly 2,500 cases of Zika in the U.S. linked to travel to outbreak areas. Since February, blood banks have turned away people who had recently visited those regions, under a previous FDA directive.